Today's update for CS2 adds support for AMD's Anti-Lag 2. This could help make the game feel significantly more responsive to play, even at lower frame rates. This is actually the first game that Anti-Lag 2 has been added to, and it should be the AMD equivalent of Nvidia Reflex, which has been in the game since release. Anti-Lag 2 will help players using modern AMD graphics cards and APUs, and especially those who are using slower graphics cards, who will likely find enabling the feature will result in a much more responsive experience, even if it doesn't increase their frame rates. In fact, they might actually decrease slightly. This too is the same as using Nvidia's Reflex. So AMD's original Anti-Lag was a primitive version of this technology. All it did was to delay the CPU until the graphics card was ready to render the next frame. The plus side of this was that it worked in almost every game. The downside was that it didn't work particularly well in any game, since it didn't have custom access to the game that was running. Anti-Lag Plus operated a lot better, and at a per game level, meaning it had far greater ability to fine tune the CPU and GPU timings to ensure minimal lag. However, it came with a very slight downside, being that AMD was injecting this feature into the game without Valve's permission. Kind of like a hack. And it resulted in VAT bans for people who used it. But Anti-Lag 2 is properly integrated into the game. Great. You just need to have a Radeon RX 5000 series of graphics card or newer, or an APU that's based on RDNA. If it's available to you, then this option will appear down here at the bottom of the graphics menu. Bear in mind that if you're watching this video soon after release, then it may require you download AMD's early preview driver before it'll show up. Link in this video's description. Due to time constraints, I only got to test this with the Radeon 6500 XT, but it's the perfect card to test it on because it's one that can really struggle with this game. When the game was running at hundreds of frames a second, it barely made a difference, because the latency was already super low and was probably being more limited by the CPU than it was the GPU. But when I increased the resolution and settings and the computer began to struggle a lot more, like in this example where it dropped below 60 FPS, then enabling Anti-Lag 2 almost halved the latency from 64 milliseconds down to just 35. It's a weird phenomenon. Shaking the mouse about, the frame rate isn't any higher, but because the latency is so much lower, then what I'm seeing on screen is far more connected with my mouse movements, and thus the game feels much better to play. So yes, this is a fantastic feature if you're on a system with an AMD graphics card. I was a little bit disappointed to see the community's reception to this update, like this meme which implies it's underwhelming because we didn't get everything else with this update as well. Then you have other people mentioning that it's been a thousand days since the last operation, but that's kind of forgetting that we got Source 2 and CS2 since then, which I'd say is kind of a bigger deal. Like, okay, that stuff would be cool to get too, but it's not like that stuff isn't being worked on just because we got this update today instead. Don't dismiss the importance of updates like this one. You might want more to play on, but some people simply want to be able to play this game, and short of buying a new computer, this kind of update is one of the best ways to enable that. It could be a real game changer on things like APUs, and on handhelds like the Steam Deck. To learn more about latency, check out this super in-depth video on it that I made last year.